Professor Miller, I wonder, I saw a paper a couple of years ago, and I don't know whether it's been superseded since, questioning whether this ever made economic sense, apart from all the things you've just said, whether there was that difference between, you know, the price of power when we had a lot of it and the price of power when we didn't, you know, so let's pump it up when the price is uh, low and let's the water fall down and make new electricity when the price is high, that it wasn't enough to even make economic sense, even if everything went well. Do you believe that this project made economic sense? No, I don't think it made sense at all. And we spent a great deal of time running the numbers, looking at it this way and that. And we wrote extensively on it and we published that. And no matter which way we looked at it, we couldn't get the economics to stack up, not even vaguely. It was blindingly obvious. We wrote it up. Uh, snowy Hydro threatened action against the university that I work for. Uh, I wrote back to Snowy and invited them to a public forum to discuss the issues with me, and we didn't hear from them again. Uh, we've drawn attention to the issues again and again and again, and the federal government has done nothing about it. Uh, this is an enormous waste of public money and trust, and it's very frustrating that they haven't dealt with it. Well, the thing is, of course, it's absolutely key to this idea that you've got unreliable wind and solar power, but we could bank that power in the Snowy 2.0 and then use it when the wind wasn't there and when the sun wasn't there. So this is absolutely key. Give, but despite all that, and given, well, your years of criticism of it, should it now be scrapped? Is it, that's it, pull the plug, don't waste any more money? I think what's desperately needed now, and it's been needed right from the outset, is an independent review that's in the public domain. Uh, we desperately need to let the sunshine in on this project. It's not good enough for Snowy to hide behind contracts, for the government to hide behind contracts. Uh, they need to put this in the public domain. And the decision makers within the government and within Snowy Hydro need to be held to account for this. So uh, the view that Ted and I and others have put forward is an independent review as a matter of urgency. We want to know what contracts have been entered into, what are the outstanding liabilities, what will it take to cancel those contracts, uh, and then a proper assessment of the risks that lie ahead, a public debate right. on that, and then a decision. <laughs> Good luck to you, Professor Bruce Mountain. I mean, you've been saying this for years. Let's see if uh, the Energy Minister has the courage to admit this could be a total disaster. Thank you so much for your time.